All right, we are talking about four myths when it comes to diastasis recti or diastasis recti, however you want to pronounce it. And I am going to debunk those myths for you because there is so much misleading information out there when it comes to abdominal separation, otherwise known as diastasis, or women are becoming almost crippled because of fear, so afraid that they're going to make that abdominal separation by doing any sort of exercise or training. So I want to debunk all of these myths for you. And let's start with our first one. So myth number one, your diastasis can be corrected with just this one exercise in only five to 10 minutes a day, and that's it. False. <laughs> and I will tell you why. So, yes, there are certain core exercises that we can do, although you can honestly heal your diastasis with a variety of exercises depending on how well your body responds to that exercise and managing intra-abdominal pressure, okay? So yes, you can use various core exercises to help target those deeper core muscles to get them stronger and help bring that gap um, back together a little bit more and improve your connective tissue. But here's the thing, what are you doing with your body throughout the rest of the day? Sure, you may go and do that five to 10 minute core exercise or core routine, but what really matters is how are you holding and moving your body throughout the day? Once you're done with your routine, are you going back into the rest of your day and using poor lifestyle habits and poor movement habits, poor breathing mechanics, all of that, which will negate any of the work you're doing when you try to do those core exercises. So hopefully you see that when it comes to fixing your diastasis, it's not just about what core exercise, and there is no single one exercise that is going to completely fix your abdominal separation. Myth number two, there are certain exercises that you can do during your pregnancy to help prevent diastasis. That's false, and I'll tell you why. Almost 100% of women will experience some form of abdominal separation during the third trimester of pregnancy. So, what it comes down to is just about every woman is going to develop some degree of diastasis well into her pregnancy. And some women can develop a diastasis early on in pregnancy depending on genetics, number of pregnancy, etc. But here's the thing, it's completely okay. It's okay to have a diastasis during pregnancy and it's normal, why? because your body needs to make way for baby somehow. Something's gotta give. So that means your abdominal wall has to stretch to accommodate your growing baby and your growing uterus. And again, that's okay. Now there are certain things that you can do in pregnancy to keep your core strong and to prevent that diastasis from getting wider and deeper but what I like to have my clients focus on more so is what can you do during the postpartum period, okay? How can we bring that diastasis um, back together a little bit more now? I'm not talking about closing the gap entirely or completely because you can still have a gap between your abdominals and still have a core that is strong and functioning well. So I have my clients focusing on what are the factors that you can do as a new mom to help fix that diastasis? And that entails various types of core training, various types of strength training, loading the body and loading the core and connective tissue so that it can get stronger and heal and correct that abdominal separation postpartum. Number three, in order to fix the diastasis, you need to wear a belly splint all the time postpartum. This is false. I have worked with a lot of moms, hundreds of moms, and belly splints do work for some of them, but most of them 
don't wear a belly splint, and that diastasis is able to fix and correct itself through specific core and whole body training, uh, practicing good quality lifestyle habits and improving breathing patterns and tweaking your alignment or fixing your posture. Now, there are times when it can be helpful to use a splint and that can be if you are a mom who has had a C-section, you know, your belly's been cut through so it's very hard for you to feel a really good core connection as those muscles are coming back online postpartum. So if you've had a C-section, it can be a good idea for you to wear a belly splint or a belly wrap as you're healing in those few weeks and months after baby. It can also be good for you if you are a mom who has a very wide gap, maybe four finger widths or more. However, it's not a permanent solution. Um, you have, like I've mentioned before, you have to work on loading your body so that you can get the connective tissue to respond and help bring your muscles back together as much as they will and improve core strength and core function. So if you are wanting to wear a belly split, make sure that you take time throughout the day to take it off. Don't wear the belly split all day long. Just Wear it when you need that extra little bit of support, but then otherwise take it off so you can start training your body to reload your core muscles and connective tissue so they can get strong again. All right, myth number four. If you didn't do anything for your core, the first few weeks or months postpartum, all hope is lost when it comes to fixing an abdominal separation. This is false. So I want you to know that no matter how long postpartum it is, months, a few years, 10 years, 15 years, whatever, it's never too late to heal an abdominal separation. I have had clients well into their 50s who I have worked with to help improve their abdominal separation, which therefore helps improve core strength and any core and pelvic floor issues that they are having. So please know that if you are a mom who has had your babies a relatively long time ago or even a long time ago, it is okay for you to start working now on fixing your abdominal, your abdominal separation and strengthening your core. As soon as you start practicing holding your body in better, better alignment, improving your breathing mechanics, and practicing on engaging those deeper core muscles more effectively, that will trigger your connective tissues and your muscles to say, hey, it's okay for me to start working again. And healing will start to begin. So that is it. I will see you next time. If you have any questions, you can always email me or message me. I'll see you later.